Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my favorite no-code tool for productivity in 2023, and that is Notion AI. Now, I've been using Notion regularly for a couple of years now, and I must say that it's probably single-handedly the tool that has helped me the most with productivity, organization, and it's completely supercharged my process. So in this video, I'm gonna kick it off with some of the basic features inside Notion. We're gonna be talking about use cases as well as different templates that you can use. Then I'm gonna start digging into some of the awesome new AI features that they have inside the tool. And finally, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use it to manage your day-to-day -day projects with a small team or alone. Welcome back to the Startup Studio, my friends. I'm Christian, the co-founder of We Are No Code. We teach entrepreneurs how to launch their startups leveraging no-code tools. If you wanna learn more, subscribe to this channel. We'll give you plenty of tips and tricks. And in the descriptions below, I have the timestamp. So if you'd like to check out a different part of the video, feel free to jump around. Now, before I jump in, I do wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Notion, which is awesome because I can now finally convince my mom that I actually have a job. Okay, so first of all, what is Notion? Well, Notion is kind of like this mix between a note-taking app, a productivity tool, a project management tool. It's incredibly flexible and it pretty much allows you to create things the way that you want them. So I really would just want to show you instead of just telling you because I think it'll make it a lot clearer. Let's go. So let's now take a look inside. So when you first enter Notion, what you're going to realize is that on the top, you're going to be able to give your workspace a specific name here. So mine is We Are No Code, the name of my company. You're also going to be able to create all sorts of different tabs. As you can see, these are all individual pages. As you can see, I have one for different departments, different things that I use Notion for. And I'll break these down one by one. But first, I just want to show you it's super easy to create one of these tabs. You can just go here, click on this blank page. You can obviously choose from some other suggested pages that are already structured. Now click on blank page. Now here you start completely from scratch. You can choose to add a cover to make it good looking. You can choose to give it a title. So let's call this one sales, for example. You can also give it a little icon. So if you want to choose an icon, let's see what they have for sales. Let's put the money, the little money icon here. Now for the cover, you can change it if you'd like. They also are connected to Unsplash where you have access to loads of different sort of images. So you could choose to go on Unsplash, for example, which is a library and put in sales here. Of course, you could choose to do something totally different than this. We could pick one that we like. Excellent. Let's use this one. Click on that. And then you would be able to also reposition it as you want. So if you want to reposition, okay, I just want the pen. I want the pen to be in there because we're trying to sell me this pen. <laughs> I Give me this pen right here. You can sell anything, sell that. Go ahead. And then I can click save position and there we go. Now underneath here, we can start from a an empty page. We can also choose to import. You can choose to start with a template, tables, boards. There's all sorts of different setups here. For the sake of this, let me just start with something very basic. So just a basic page. Again, if you want to add something, you can always go back here and choose what type of page it is. So if you want to create a table here, if you want to create bullet points, you can absolutely do that at any time. Now, of course, inside each one of these, you can actually choose to create a sub page, right? So you create a page within a page. Page. We're going to call this sales script, for example. So this might be the script that you're writing for any sales pitch. Let's say that here we just literally want to have a very simple page and then you could just copy paste the script that you've created here. And again, here I can add its own cover as well and I can do all sorts of things. Now, as you can see, at every step, I can add additional pages and those pages can have any kind of thing that you want. So they could just be basic things like bullets, quotes. It could also have things like specific media. You could have AI that I'll talk about in just a second. Databases, all sorts of databases with templates templates pre-made. You could also have advanced things and you can also find shortcuts. So for example, I just press this breadcrumb and this, what it's going to do is it's going to tell me, great, I'm in the general tab over here. I'm in the sales sort of tab of the tab <laughs> and I'm now in the sales script. And here, if I wanted to add a little icon, it would also add it here. So you see I have a little football. There you go. So as you can see, it's super flexible and you can pretty much create the organization system that you want exactly the way that you want it, which is why this tool is so practical and why it's pretty much a no code builder because you're building your own organization system. Now, as you can imagine, the use cases are infinite, but the best way to kind of showcase those is by talking a little bit about the templates that they have already built inside of Notion that you could use at any time. So if you navigate here to the bottom of your page, you're gonna see templates. You click on this, you're gonna see a huge number of templates. So there are some that are suggested, then you have some for different teams, right? So here for the product team, for example, you could do things like product specs. For the marketing team, you could create a basic content calendar, for example, here. If you go to the engineer, 
engineering team, you could do a retrospective or you could do an engineering tech spec, for example. And they have the same for so many departments, design, for startups, for operations, for sales, for recruiting, for HR. So, and I encourage you to kind of go through these templates, check them out and see which one might be valuable for what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so those are some of the basics. Now let's jump into talking about AI capabilities within Notion. Okay, so now I've created a page called Notion AI, added some robots for the cover picture because hey, robots are pretty cool. And I'm gonna be showing you how to activate Notion's AI. Now, it's super, super simple. You only have to press the space bar and it's gonna open it up and you're gonna have loads of different options. So as you can see here, you can brainstorm ideas, you can write blog posts, you can create outlines, you can you know create social media posts. And there's really just a huge number of things that you can do. You can also insert AI blocks, which is really cool. And it'll also identify the recent things that you've also done. You can also just write in the search bar. So what is Notion in one short phrase? So as you can see here, it's created a one liner about Notion. Now, if I highlight this one liner, what I can ask it to do are a number of different things. I could ask it to, for example, create a translation, right? So many of you might not know this, but I speak several languages fluently and let's see how good of a job this actually does. So let's translate this to French, for example, and boom, it's going to translate it for you. Now let's see how well this actually did. Notion est un espace de travail tout en un pour les notes, les projets, les tâches et la collaboration. It's actually perfect. So let's test it with Spanish and Portuguese now. Notion es un espacio de trabajo todo en uno para notas, proyectos, tareas y colaboración. Actually really good. Now let's see it in Portuguese. Notion es un espacio de trabajo completo para notas, proyectos, tarefas y colaboración. Wow. Well, my friends, it looks like I've wasted a huge amount of my life learning languages. Now let's move on. So again, you could highlight any text here, go to Ask AI, and then you could even change the tone of it. You might want to make it a little bit more casual. So Notion is like the Swiss army knife of workspaces. It's got everything you need for notes, projects, tasks, and teamwork all in one place. So it can adapt the tone of anything that you're doing. You can make things longer. You can make things shorter. You can summarize, you can translate. You could also have it write the text from scratch and then you can edit it. Oftentimes, frankly, I recommend you use AI more as an assistant than as an actual full-time copywriter. Trust me, it can save you hours every single day and it's doing that for me right now. So now let's take a real life example. Say that I'm a startup founder and now I want to start raising money for this startup that I've been building, but I have absolutely no idea how to get started on the fundraising process. Here's a fun strategy I came up with to be able to learn things quicker. So the first thing I did was to go on the internet and find some really good articles from reliable sources teaching me how to raise money. Now, I didn't want to spend all the time to go through all of them, read every single thing. So I really wanted to just speed up the process here. Here I created a little tab called Startup Fundraising. I grabbed each article and added them here to this table that I created inside the tab. Each one of these is actually an article. So if I open it up, you're gonna have the title of the article and then you're gonna have the full article that I just copy pasted from the internet. So once I had uploaded a couple of them, what I actually did was to add an additional field here or if you'd like a column. And I basically am asking it if it can give me an AI summary. So you can just tap into the AI here, get it to give you a summary of these specific things. It's gonna ask me, okay, which ones do I want to do? Perfect, let's try it on this view. Boom, it's going to create it for each one of these already. So as you can see, it's pretty crazy. It's gonna give me kind of some details about it. I could come in here and adapt it as well. And boom, it comes out with the summary of those different articles. I could add another one here. It would basically ask for it to identify all of the key info inside these articles. Excellent, we're gonna do it for all these pages. What key info to extract? Actionable steps to fundraising. And if I do that, I'm gonna be able to save the changes. It's going to actually try on this view. Boom, we're gonna let it do its magic. And boom, right here, it's giving me some actionable steps that I can do to fundraise. So this can absolutely accelerate the way that I learn online as well, simply by helping me really get to the bottom of the information that interests me the most, right? And this is really just one of the many ways that you can use Notion to work smarter, faster. Now, the other thing it can help you with is creative thinking, for example. So if, for example, I was about to start fundraising and I had no idea how to pitch my startup, I could easily go underneath this, I could open up the AI tab and I could have it write a short pitch for my startup. We teach people how to launch their startups with no code tools and AI. Looking to launch your startup, but you don't know where to start? Our platform provides you with the tools you need to get your business off the ground without needing to learn how to code. With our AI platform, you'll be able to create a professional looking website, build automations and more. Start building your dream business today. Now, of course, I wouldn't use this in an actual pitch, but what this can do is help you get your creative juices flowing. And that sometimes is the most important thing. Awesome, so now I'm gonna run you through how you can organize your weekly planning inside of Notion with something called sprints. Now sprints are basically, they were invented 
invented by the product world that you know develops apps and stuff like that. But it's a really effective way to collaborate when there's lots of different tasks for specific projects and you might be working on different tasks and with other members of your team. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a couple of minutes. It's super simple and you can adapt it to exactly what you're looking to do. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm inside the sprint board now that we use to organize and to collaborate about specific projects and tasks. Now you'll see here that there are different phases. This is the pre-sprint where we think about all the tasks that we have to do. Then we're gonna add them to the sprint when we determine what we wanna do that specific week. And then over the course of the sprint itself, we're going to be putting them in the doing button. So I can drag a given task here that I've created. I can also open it up and there's all the information. So if I wanted to add a little comment here, I could. If I wanted to add another collaborator on this specific task, I could as well. And this really allows you to manage things in a centralized place and have your team also have access to it as well. So it's super practical. As you can see here, for you to kind of understand, you can look at the table view, which is kind of an Excel, right? So there's just the name, right, of the task. Then there's the status. Then there's gonna be the assigned person to it. There's gonna be the category. You can basically choose which ones you wanna have here. And there might be a due date. Is this high priority, low priority? So really just some very simple things. And then you can add the board view. And you can have the board view organized by anything, really. So for example, if I wanted to now organize this view and really have it filter based on just the tasks that are for me, you could filter it like this and you could just say all of my tasks and then enter and then it will be done. And you'll only have the tasks that are related to you. So now you can use this board just for yourself. Your colleagues can look at the tasks that are just for them. Super practical. So I'll bring this back over here. And here, as you can see, I could just go below. I have an additional task, but then I'm gonna put the name of the major project I'm working on first. That's the way that you can organize it. So let's say a no code course, and I'm gonna close bracket. Then I'm gonna talk about the task itself. So put together an outline for the course structure. Perfect. Then I can add the category here. I've predetermined a couple categories. So here I'll put learning courses. Excellent. Then a due date. There is no actual due date for this. Or let's say that the due date is tomorrow because I have a, you know, a deadline. It's going to really allow me to prioritize my tasks once I'm inside. Now, after that, I might do something like add priority level. Let's put high priority. Excellent. And that's pretty much it. And of course, I can add anything I want in here. So I could click in here and add any documents that I might need for another person I'm assigning a task to. I could add some copy or some instructions inside of here. I could post a video. There's just so many different things that I could do inside of here. So if you're an entrepreneur or small business owner, I highly recommend that you work with a task management system like this. You can build it super easily inside of Notion and it's super cheap, or you can go for more expensive out of the box solutions too, but I just think Notion is really awesome. That is it, my friends. I'm sure you now understand why Notion is, in my opinion, the best no-code tool for productivity. And if you're interested in launching your next business with no-code tools, then you can check out our free course below. It's gonna teach you exactly that. See you guys for more tips and tricks. Thanks for joining me in the startup studio. Let's go.